Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Math School Learn to Succeed. In this channel, I'll be teaching you Karnataka Board Class 10th SLC Insert Math. In today's video, let us solve the question number 3 and 4 from exercise 10.2, chapter number 10 quadratic equations. In my previous videos, I've solved the question 1 and 2. If you have not watched that video, please find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So before we begin our video, please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos. The question number 3 from exercise 10.2, chapter 10 quadratic equation says, find two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182. So let us first take the two numbers to be x and y. So let the two numbers be x and y. So from the question, we can write down the sum of the two numbers that is x plus y is equal to 27 and the product of the, these two numbers that is x into y is equal to 182. So if x plus y is equal to 27, what is the value of y can be written as? So if we send this x to the right hand side, we are going to get 27 minus x. So this will be y is equal to 27 minus x from this given equation that is see for the x plus y is equal to 27 right if we send this x to the right hand side we are going to get y is equal to 27 minus x so let us substitute this y value here so we will get x plus instead of y we are writing 27 minus x is equal to 27 so let us substitute this y value in this uh, product form that is x into y is equal to 182. So instead of a y, we are going to write 27 minus x. So substituting y value that is y is equal to 27 minus x in this equation, we are going to get x into 27 minus x is equal to 182. So now let us multiply and open this bracket. It is 27 into x, it is 27x minus x into x is x square is equal to 182. Now sending uh, these two terms to the right hand side, we will get minus x square is going to become plus x square minus this 27x will become minus 27x plus 182 is equal to 0. So we send this these two terms to the right hand side. Now we have got a quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. By solving the roots for the quadratic equation, we are going to find out the x value. From the given equation, if we compare what is the coefficient of x square, it is 1. Coefficient of x, b is equal to minus 27 and the coefficient of c is equal to 182. So we have to find out uh, the factors. So what is the product? The product is equal to a into c that is 182 into 1 that is equal to 182 and the sum will be equal to b that is nothing but 27 okay initially we are not taking the signs we are not considering the signs so just we have to take the 27 value here now we have to factorize 182 in such a way that two factors when we multiply we should get a product of 182 and the sum should be equal to 27 so let us factorize 182. So 2 9s are 18, 2 1s are 2. This is not divisible by 3. If you take 3 3s are 9, then 1 is not divisible. So the next possible divisible number is 7. So 7 1s are 7, 2 is left here, that is 21. So 7 3s are 21. Then again 13 is a prime number, so 13 1 times. We can group them in this way. 7 2s are 14 into 13 is nothing but 182 and 14 plus 13 is equal to 27 okay so these are the two factors when we multiply we get as 182 and when we add we are going to get 27 okay so let us substitute 14 plus 13 instead of 27 so x square minus of 14 plus 13 into x plus 182 is equal to 0 so this is how we have split this middle term as. Now let us open the bracket again. You are going to get x square minus of 14 into x. Again plus into minus it will be minus 13x plus 182 is equal to 0. Now we are going to group these two terms and take common between these two terms. So what is the common root here? It is x. So x minus 
40 again minus we are going to take here since minus sign is there 182 can be written as 14 into 13 is equal to 182 right so 14 into 30 what is common between these two term now if we split this it 13 is common so we are taking minus 13 as common so what is left behind in this term x so plus into minus will be minus 14 will be left behind here also so is equal to 0 so these two terms inside the brackets is same so we can go ahead if you take again x minus 14 as common x minus 13 is left behind and that is equal to 0 now if we equate each of these term equal to 0 minus 14 is equal to 0 and x minus 13 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to sending this minus 14 to the right hand side we will get 14 and sending this minus 13 to the right hand side we are going to get 13 so x is equal to 14 and x is equal to 13 we have got here so let us substitute these value in this equation y is equal to 27 minus x initially we had considered y is equal to 27 minus x so let us substitute the x value here and find out the y value so y is equal to 27 minus if x is equal to 14 if we substitute x is equal to 14 so this will be 27 minus 14 so what is 27 minus 14 7 minus 4 it is 3 and 2 minus 1 it is 1 so y is equal to 30 now if let us substitute x is equal to 30 okay so y is equal to 27 minus 13 so this will be so what is 17 minus 3 it is 4 and 2 minus 1 is 1 so when we substitute x is equal to 14 we are getting the value as 13 and if we substitute x is equal to 13 then y value is equal to 14 right so the two numbers are 13 and 14 okay in both the cases we are getting 13 and 14 as a result so therefore we can write down the two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182 are the two numbers are 13 and 14 so this is how we solve this problem so question number four from exercise 10.2 chapter 10 quadratic equation says find two consecutive positive integers sum of whose squares is 365 in our previous exercise that is 10.1 i have already explained to you what a consecutive positive integers are so a consecutive positive integer is an integer whose difference is always equal to one for example if we take a first integer as 10 the next possible consecutive in integer is 10 plus 1 that is equal to 11 okay any two numbers whose difference should be 1 is said to be two positive consecutive integers since they are telling us positive here so we're going to take positive integers right so the other example of the consecutive integers are a consecutive means the continuous so 1 and 2 2 what is 2 minus 1 is 1 right so any two integers whose difference should always be 1 is said to be a consecutive integer okay if you take a number 3 then the next possible consecutive integer is 3 plus 1 that is nothing but 4 so 3 and 4 are the two consecutive uh, integers okay so here let us first consider the two positive consecutive integers so let x be the first consecutive positive integer so which will be the next possible consecutive integer so x plus 1 if we add 1 to x x plus 1 be the second consecutive positive integer so here in the question they are saying sum of whose squares is 365 so what is the first consecutive integer is x and the second consecutive integer is x plus 1 sum of whose squares so we have to take the squares of these two numbers so squares of these two numbers and we also have to take the sum what is the sum means square of the first consecutive integer plus square of the second consecutive integers is equal to 365 so this is what is given in the question so now we are going to simplify this equation and we are going to find the two possible consecutive integers that is x and x plus 1 value so x into the whole square is x square plus this is of the form a plus b the whole square what is the formula for a plus b the whole square it is given as a square plus 2ab plus b square so this formula we are going to apply here and we are going to simplify the equation a value is equal to x and b value is equal to 1 a square is x square plus 2 into a value is x into b value is 1 plus b square is nothing but 
1 square is 1 is equal to 365. Simplifying, we get x square plus x square plus 2 into x into 1 is 2x plus 1 is equal to 365. Now, let us take this 365 to the left hand side. So, what is x square plus x square is 2x square plus 2x plus 1 minus when we send 365 to the left hand side we are going to get minus 365 is equal to 0. So what is plus 1 and minus 365 we have to subtract with a higher number sign. So we are going to get 2x square plus 2x going to take minus sign here since the higher number is 365 so subtracting 365 minus 1 will be 364 is equal to 0. Here we can observe that 2 is common between all these three terms. Here 2 is common, here also 2 is common and this is also a multiple of 2. So let us, let us take 2 common here. So if we take 2 common, we are left with x square plus x minus. So let us divide 364 by 2. So 2 1 times, 2 1 times, 16 will be here. So 2 8s are 16 and 2 2s are 4. So this will be minus 182 is equal to 0. Now if we send this 2 to the right hand side it will come in the division. So 0 divided by 2 will be equal to 0 again. So this will be x square plus x minus 182 is equal to 0. The standard form of the quadratic equation is given by ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So what is the coefficient of x square? That is a is equal to 1 coefficient of xb is equal to 1 and c value is equal to 182 and what will be the product product is equal to a into c that is 1 into 182 is e nothing but 182 and since here minus 182 or minus c is there we are going to take the difference right if it was plus you would have taken sum so this value will be equal to b that is nothing but 1 so we have to factorize 182 now factorizing 182 we are going to get 2 9s are 18 2 1s are 2 like how we did in a previous sum that is question number 3 so this is not divisible by 3 or 4 it is only divisible by 7 so 7 1 times 2 is carry so 7 3 is a 21 again 13 is a prime number so 13 1 times so we have to group the factors such a way that the product we get is 182 and the difference should be 1 so if we group them in such a way so 7 2 is a 14 14 into 13 is nothing but 182 and 14 minus 13 that is the difference is equal to 1 so these are the two factors which we are going to substitute instead of 1 here okay so x square plus 14 minus 13 x minus 182 is equal to 0 so this is how we are going to split the middle term so we will get x square plus 14 into x is 14 x minus 13 x minus 182 is equal to 0. Now let us take common between these two terms and these two terms. Now 182 can also be written as 14 into 13 right this is 14 into 13. So if we take x common here what is left behind x plus 14 is left behind since minus is here we are take, going to take minus 13 common here since 13 is common in between these two terms when 182 is written as 14 into 13. So 13 if we take as common minus 13 your x is left so minus into minus will be plus if you take out 13 from here 14 is left behind so again this is equal to 0. Now x plus 14 we are going to take as common what is left behind x minus 13 is equal to 0 is left behind therefore if we transfer this 40 to the right hand side we are going to get x is equal to minus 14 and x when we transfer minus 13 to the right hand side we are going to get x is equal to 13 okay so we got two values for x that is minus 14 and 13 but here in the question they are saying us it has to be two consecutive positive integers okay since it is positive we are just going to consider this value that is x is equal to 13 therefore write down since x should be a positive integer therefore we are taking x value is equal to 13 and not minus 14 therefore the first positive integer is consecutive positive integer is x and the second consecutive positive integer is x plus 1 
सो वॉट इज एक्स वैल्यू हेयर इट इज थर्टीन सो थर्टीन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन दे फोर द टू कॉन्जिक्यूटिव पॉजिटिव इंटीजियर्स आर दे फोर द टू कॉन्जिक्यूटिव पॉजिटिव इंटीजियर्स आर थर्टीन एंड फोर्टीन सो दिस इज हॉबी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट प्लीज कमेंट मी बिलो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन In my next video I'm going to solve the question number 5 from exercise 10.2 chapter 10 quadratic equations so till then please like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you